our thoughts go really to the family of uh, Abdel Bashir. Uh, he had been working for 10 years with the ICRC. He's father to, uh, to eight children and he's dead. He was unarmed, he was defenseless. He was protecting uh, a compound um, from where I can tell you uh, hundreds of thousands of, uh, of Afghans were um, getting valuable services and there is no more and we're very sad for it. Yesterday uh, in the afternoon four men, two wearing suicide west vests, uh, attacked uh, the ICRC compound in uh, Jalalabad, which is the capital city of the Ningar province in the eastern part of the country. And uh, the, the outcome was the, um, the death of one of our colleagues, um, an Afghan. Two hours later, the attackers were dead and all our people were regrouped. It is um, a, a brutal, despicable, and frankly, from our viewpoint, very senseless uh, attack um, against an organization that has been present in Afghanistan for the past 30 years. There isn't a single Afghan that, that wouldn't recognize the fact that we are strictly independent and humanitarian in what we do. So there is a lot of uh, um, incomprehension about why four people would actually kill themselves to attack uh, an unprotected uh, structure of a strictly humanitarian organization like ours. All movements have been frozen throughout Afghanistan. There is not a single ICRC delegate or employee that is moving, uh, taking the roads today in, in Afghanistan. Our subdelegation in Jalalabad has, uh, has been closed. So we are reconnecting with the government, we are reconnecting with the uh, with the armed opposition as well, to try and determine exactly what happened and why. It was clearly a, a planned attack with, uh, with a level of organization and, and means that uh, rules out a kind of uh, isolated incident by some, you know, by some individual. It has always been dangerous to be a humanitarian operator in Afghanistan. There is a long uh, series of uh, very serious incidents. We have also paid the price of blood in Afghanistan in the past, in past years. Um, it, is danger it has been dangerous, it is dangerous, and these, uh, these attack and the quality of this attack compel us precisely to redefine the level of uh, dangerosity there is for uh, humanitarian players and for us to operate in the area.